What is that thing which we all want in our life? What is that thing that we can make or we can discover or we can invent something by programming? We can make a robot by it. We can make lots of things. I think you have already guessed which topic I'm talking about today. Yes, today I'm, I will talk about, about artificial intelligence. So welcome to my video. Everybody, please watch the video till the end because today I'm going to discuss about artificial intelligence in short form we uh, call it AI. So I'm going to discuss that how can you make your own artificial intelligence well I made one but it's not a robot type I made it with programming and it and thank God thankfully I succeeded my project succeeded I made an artificial intelligence that can reply to you if you command anything he uh, well I named it Alexa like Siri and Google when we give a voice search, it also replies back uh, by voice. So, I made an Alexa that can do any of your work. Like if, I, or if you order uh, that play a song, play a song of let's say Taylor Swift, play a song of Taylor Swift. Then if you want to watch a football match, let's say that play a football match in YouTube of Brazil and Argentina so it's gonna do it for you so today I'm going to discuss you discuss with you about artificial intelligence what is it how how many things do you need and what are those things and I'm going to tell you the functions of those things and why is it important so let's start without wasting any more time this is me a uh, Google certified programmer Safwan Mustafa Let's, let's start. Artificial intelligence refers to the simul simulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think like humans, like the way we think so that we can use artificial intelligence in the robot, they will also think like humans. It will have the feelings like humans and mimic their actions yes it will mimic our action when we input the artificial intelligence or when we will use the artificial intelligence to create our robot that needs to feel that needs to think like human that needs to feel like human like what we do and it has to be uh, the actions has to be same so that's why you need AI the team the term may also be applied to any machines that exhibits traits associated with a human mind such as learning and problem solving yes it has to be related with mind so that it can solve problems like if I give you a math problem so that it can solve it for you uh, it can solve it like humans and it can learn something you can function robot that memorize everything tell like a robot well you may think that what's the difference between normal robots and artificial intelligent robots the main difference is the main robot cannot feel they cannot feel, they cannot sense, they are not like humans. But artificial intelligence robots are just the opposite. They can feel, they can do things like humans do, and they can do anything. What the humans do, such as learning, making something, memorizing, anything. Now it's important to know that how many types of artificial intelligence are there, and why do you need this? There were four types of artificial intelligence, reactive machines, limited memory, theory of mind and self-awareness. These are the four types of artificial intelligence. First comes reactive machines. What are reactive machines? The most basic 
functionality of artificial intelligence where the machine can only react to current scenarios with no ability to use its experience to inform decisions. Yes, it can only react. It can only react to the scenario, but it cannot use its experience. It cannot inform nothing. So it's only a part of your robot, this reactive machines. So this is a very important part to remember when you build your AI that reactive machines only respond, only react to the scenario that you need to remember. Then it comes to limited memory limited memory the machine can make observations about its environment to inform a decision yes this is what limited memory does and the reactive machines used uh, they will react to the scenario and the limited memory will give you experience and use it uh, you will it will use its experience and it can inform you so what uh, we learned up to now that these two, if we combine these two, then it becomes a kind of human mind or human brain. Be if you only import uh, limited memory uh, or if you only import reactive machines, then your project will fail. So you need to import these two must. There must be these two things. Now it comes to theory of mind. Theory of mind allows people to infer the in, uh, intentions of others as well as well as to think about what's going on in someone's el someone else's head, including hopes, as think about what and many other things what it is saying here is that the theory of mind can sense yes it can sense pe uh, people that what are you thinking right now I'm gonna guess you mm, you're thinking hmm I can't read your mind but yes you are thinking about right now that how you're gonna make your robot well, that's just a guess of mine. So that's what it sense, the theory of mind. If you can construct, if you can construct the brain, then your robot is done because brain controls the full body. Then what you need to do, then you can connect the, you can connect the brain what you imported you can connect those with the bodies so that what brain will tell you to say so that the body can do it or it can express it like my brain is instructing me to walk so i'm gonna walk the my brain is telling me to uh, let's say to walk backwards so i'm gonna uh, walk backwards what your brain orders, what your brain orders, our body does it immediately. So we all know that our brain controls our whole body. Same goes to the robots. Their brain, their brain controls their body. So we are done with three of our features. Now it comes to self-awareness. Self-awareness plays a critical role in how we understand ourselves and how we relate to others and the world. Being self-aware allows you to evaluate yourself in relation to others. For people who have an extremely high sense of self-awareness, excessive self-consciousness -consci can result. So what it is saying here that it plays a critical role, it plays a critical role in the robots. Same to us. It plays a really important role for us too because it depends fully on us that what we will do should we go there should I do that should I run or should I walk or should I sit should I dance should I sing should I give a presentation 
Self-awareness is really important and self-understanding is really important. So if you want to replicate a robot like the humans, then you have to. If you don't input this, you cannot make your project. This is the most important thing on robots. Self-awareness. Yes. Now, what's the function of artificial intelligence? Then what can it do? I told you at the beginning of the video, though I'm, I will repeat it again, artificial intelligence, or we call it AI, makes it possible for machines to learn from experience, adjust to new inputs and perform like human human like tasks most uh, most artificial intelligence examples that you hear about today is from chess playing computers to self driving cars uh, really heavy on deep uh, deep learning and natural language processing yes so what it is uh, telling that what can artificial intelligence do is it can express from its experience robot what it what it does the normal robots that they what you will import they will do like what you imported or uh, and what you gave and what instruction you gave so it will do it like that yes so you are kind of the brain, the brain of the robot, of the normal robots, because you imported all the things, you gave instructions that you will do like this, 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 like Almighty Allah also gave us some instructions which we need to follow because we are his robots. He made us like, like the way we will also make our robots. Yes, this is how we will make a robot. There are some codings. Inshallah, in the next video, I'm going to discuss with you about robotics. Now it uh, it's came to the end of the video. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are products of both science and myth. The idea that machines could think and perform tasks just as humans do is thousands of years old. The cognitive truths expressed in artificial intelligence and machine learning systems are not new either yes this is not new either because um, it was like people started to do this thousands of years ago you may think that how they do this there is a way I can also make AI because I learned how to program if you learn programming, that's a really good advantage for you. Especially I'm telling it to the programmers right now that if you can do programming, it will be super duper easy for you to make a robot. Yes, so programming has to be really fantastic. And inshallah, if you find any problems, I'm always there to help you. So you can mail me at knowledgewithsafwan at gmail.com and please follow me in, in the Facebook page. Please follow my Facebook page. The link is given there and please subscribe my YouTube channel. The link is also given there. So everyone, thanks a lot for watching this video. Inshallah, we'll discuss at one video. I'm inshallah in the next video or in the future. I'm going to tell you how to code. That would be really interesting. I'm going to uh, tell you by sc uh, screen sharing. I'm going to explain it to you. And that would be really nice. And you all will like it because you, I know you, uh, there are many people who will love to make their own robots. So everyone, thanks a lot for watching this video once again. So please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel, follow my Facebook page, Safwan's Knowledge World Facebook page and Little Master YouTube channel. Subscribe my YouTube channel, please follow my Facebook page. We'll come up with another video very soon, inshallah. So take care and stay home, stay safe and stay healthy. Allah Hafiz, be well and stay blessed. Assalamu alaikum.